And then the Diana Award is a living legacy to Diana, Princess of Wales. And usually when I talk about this, I have to try and tell you what, who we are and maybe tell you who Princess Diana is. But today I don't have to do that because I'm thrilled to be joined today by her son, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. And, and joining us will be two inspiring young change makers, Christina and Kiara. Amazing. Hello, squaddies. We're about to delve into the Duke of Sussex's inspiring stand on mental fitness at the Diana Award Summit in New York. We'll explore his powerful call for youth involvement in decision-making and listen to his touching tribute to his late mother, Princess Diana. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for the full coverage. <music> Greetings, fellow squaddies. Welcome back today. We're thrilled to chat about the Duke of Sussex's latest appearance at the Diana Award Summit in New York. Not only did he make his stage debut in The Big Apple, but he also engaged in a meaningful discussion about the global mental health crisis. But that's not all. Powerful speech emphasized the importance of youth involvement in decision-making. Let's dive into the Duke of Sussex's inspiring words and actions at the event. Um, thank you, Tessie. Good morning, everybody. Um, and thank you, Concordia, for having us. This is a very, very important subject that affects uh, every single one of us, and I'm privileged to be here with Diana Award um, and with yourselves, uh, Christina and Kiara. Very, very nice to see you again. Prince Harry made quite an impact on stage in his debut in New York. This Duke of Sussex, known for his candid conversations about mental health, made a compelling case for a subtle but significant shift in language. Instead of the term mental health, he suggests we use mental fitness. I'm very grateful to have the Duke of Sussex with us. He is a passionate advocate for mental health. He actually said to me as we came in that actually we should no longer talk about mental health, we should talk about mental fitness. His dedication to this cause strengthens our mission. Why is this important, you might ask? Well, the term mental health often carries with it a certain stigma, a sense of something being wrong or broken, but mental fitness, on the other hand, evokes an image of strength, resilience, and the ongoing work it takes to maintain our mental well-being. Just as we train our bodies for physical fitness, we should be training our minds for mental fitness. Prince Harry's perspective reflects a growing understanding that mental health is not simply about the absence of mental illness, but also about the presence of mental wellness. It's about fostering a sense of purpose, maintaining strong relationships, experiencing joy, and being able to bounce back from adversity. The Duke's words are a reminder that everyone, regardless of their age, socioeconomic status, or background, deserves the opportunity to achieve optimal mental fitness. It's a call to action for governments, healthcare providers, and individuals alike to prioritize mental wellness, to invest in resources that promote mental fitness, and to break down the barriers that prevent people from accessing mental health care. Surely this shift in perspective can lead to more effective policies, better health care, and a greater emphasis on prevention. Just imagine a world where mental fitness is given the same importance as physical fitness. A world where everyone has access to the tools and resources they need to stay mentally fit. A world where no one has to suffer in silence. Prince Harry's advocacy for mental fitness is not just about changing the conversation, it's about changing the world. It's about creating a society that values mental wellness, that understands the importance of mental fitness, and that strives to make mental health care accessible to all. His perspective on mental health is not only refreshing, but also a testament to his commitment to mental wellness. The Duke of Sussex continues to use his platform to bring light to these crucial issues, and for that, we are immensely grateful. The Duke of Sussex didn't just stop at mental fitness. He went on to address a crucial aspect of societal progress, the active involvement of youth in decision-making processes. Prince Harry fervently believes that governments around the globe should not just involve but actively seek out young individuals 
for their unique insights and fresh perspectives. Surely one of the solutions here is for governments to implement or at least offer or find people, young people like yourselves, and bring them into decision-making, policy-making uh, situations, right? Before, it's, before the problems exist, and we're very, very good at creating problems for ourselves to try and solve. Um, but surely by bringing young people in at the early stages for those, for those solutions, surely that is where the difference is going to be made. And he posits that young people, much like the two Diana Award winners present on stage with him, should be brought into policymaking situations even before problems arise. Surely, one of the solutions here is for governments to implement or at least offer or find people, young people like yourselves, and bring them into decision-making, policy-making situations right before the problems exist, he said during the panel discussion. I've said it years, years ago and I'll say it again, the younger generation are not putting too much pressure on you guys. You are what, you are what give me hope. Um, the courage that you have gives me hope because every single one of us need courage in order to really move the dial and, and, and create positive change in, in today's world probably more so now than ever. So thank you to you guys for giving me and probably a lot of other people in this room hope. And now we need to listen, constantly listen, and then act on the advice and the, the vision that you have, because otherwise it's your future that's being stolen from you. And that is unacceptable. I, I, I applaud you for certainly at your age to be on this stage, to have the confidence that you do, and to be able to speak as, as clearly and as passionately as you do. Um, and I know that my mum would be incredibly proud of you guys, not just you, but all of the award winners. And Tessie, you've been, you've been in this for a, a very long time, um, so thank you for that as well. Um, but the way that you do it, the, your, your, your activism, your compassion, those two things are so true to, to, to how my mum led, led her life and what she believed in, and the way that you do it, is incredible, so thank you. Prince Harry's belief stems from the observation that we as a society are exceptionally good at creating problems for ourselves to solve. In his words, we're very, very good at creating problems for ourselves to try and solve. But wouldn't it be more efficient, he asked, to involve young minds at the earliest stages of problem solving? Isn't that where the real difference can be made? His argument is compelling. It suggests that by involving young people in the decision-making process, we can potentially prevent many societal issues from arising in the first place. This proactive approach, as opposed to our current reactive one, could be the key to sustainable societal progress. Prince Harry's call to governments isn't just about the practicality of involving young minds in decision-making. It is also about acknowledging and respecting the potential that our youth hold. It is about empowering them to be a part of the solution and not just passive observers of the problems their older counterparts create. His message was clear and powerful. The youth are not just the leaders of tomorrow, but also the problem solvers of today. It's high time we recognize their potential and gave them a seat at the decision-making table. His faith in the power of youth is truly inspiring. It was a touching moment when Prince Harry spoke about his late mother, Princess Diana. The Duke of Sussex, with a heart full of admiration and respect, praised the young Diana Award winners who sat on stage with him. His words were not just an acknowledgement of their accomplishments, but a heartfelt tribute to his mother's enduring legacy. He spoke with a sincerity that made it clear how deeply he values the work these young individuals are doing. I applaud you, at your age, to be on this stage, to have the confidence that you do, and to be able to speak as clearly and as passionately as you do, he said. His words were not just of praise, but also of recognition. Recognition of the courage, the determination, and the drive these young people have shown, traits that echo his mother's spirit. Prince Harry's belief in his mother's enduring pride for these young individuals was evident as he continued his address. I know that my mom would be incredibly proud of you guys, not just you, but all of the award winners the way that you do it, your activism, your compassion, he said. His words resonated with the audience, a testament to the profound impact Princess Diana had not only on him, but on the world. He further highlighted the alignment of their efforts with his mother's beliefs, stating, 
those two things are so true to how my mom led her life and what she believed in, and the way that you do it is incredible. It was a candid reflection of how Princess Diana's legacy continues to inspire and shape the world today. His tribute was not just an acknowledgement of their efforts, but a call to action. A reminder that we can all play a part in creating a better world. A world that values mental fitness, that involves the youth in decision-making, and that continues to carry forward Princess Diana's legacy of compassion and activism. His tribute to his mother's legacy was indeed moving. Our Duke of Sussex has a busy schedule ahead. He continues to champion the cause of mental fitness, even as he steps onto the global stage. New York City is set to host the Duke for a series of events in the coming days. One of these noteworthy events is the Clinton Global Initiative Annual Meeting. This gathering, helmed by former U.S. President Bill Clinton, brings together global leaders to create and implement innovative solutions to the world's most pressing challenges. The Duke's presence at this meeting underscores his commitment to making a difference on a global scale. But the Duke's work doesn't stop across the pond. He's also set to return to the United Kingdom for a special event. He will be gracing the Well Child Awards on the 30th of September. This event is particularly dear to him, as he has been a long-standing patron of the Well Child Organization, which provides essential support for seriously ill children and their families. His participation in these events not only highlights his dedication to the causes he supports, but also serves as a testament to his unwavering commitment to creating a better world, just as his late mother, Princess Diana, did. We look forward to hearing more about these events and the Duke's continued efforts. So let's keep our eyes and ears open as we anticipate the positive change that the Duke of Sussex is tirelessly working to effect. That wraps up our coverage of Prince Harry's recent appearance at the Diana Award Summit. In the course of his appearance, the Duke of Sussex shared some powerful insights that resonate with his impactful statement about mental health. He rightly suggested a shift in perspective from viewing our mental well-being as a potential problem to viewing it a shift from mental health to mental fitness. This change in language could indeed lead to a change in mindset, fostering a proactive approach towards our mental well-being. He emphasized the need for governments to bring young people into the policymaking process even before problems arise. Prince Harry's words of praise for the Diana Award winners truly touched our hearts. His recognition of their hard work in carrying on his beloved Mother Diana's legacy, embodiment of values that Princess Diana held dear. Looking ahead, Prince Harry's upcoming engagements, including the Clinton Global Initiative Annual Meeting and the Well Child Awards back in the UK, promise to continue the momentum of his meaningful work. We stand by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, celebrating their efforts and supporting them. Thank you for tuning in, fellow squaddies. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. When you think about the future, what are you hopeful for? Can I go last? Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Should we start with you, Kiara? Yeah, I want to hear.